Toyota also fitted some very tasteful 16-inch black TRD wheels with enough offset to widen the track by an inch, although they're wrapped with a compromised tire. The Goodyear Wrangler All-Terrain Kevlar rubber is aggressive for an original equipment tire, but it's left in the dust by the stuff that owners would chose to buy for the kind of terrain they play around in. Tires like the BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2, which, incidentally, the 2017 Ford Raptor gets as original equipment. Despite the Goodyear's on-road bias, the Tacoma spent most of the day gripping instead of slipping, with only the wet hill in the morning stymieing us. Some KO2s or KM2s would solve that problem, and should probably be on the to-buy list for anyone actually looking to visit locations with boulders or deep mud along the way. But that's just more money a TRD Pro owner will have to think about spending. And spending is the name of the game with the TRD Pro. All this TRD Pro kit, and in particular the Fox shocks, adds up to a much better Tacoma, and there aren't any items we'd leave off. And yet, they bring an already expensive mid-size pickup to the price point of disbelief, the Tacoma TRD Pro, which is incidentally only available as a double cab model, starts at $41,700, or $5,405 more than a TRD off-road 4x4 double cab with the same V6 engine and no additional options. You wouldn't get those excellent Fox shocks or TRD visual accoutrements in the TRD off-road trim, but it does come with upgraded Bilstein shocks, an electronic rear locker, and crawl control. On the other hand, the off-road does lack the presence of the aggressive Pro, which is as important a consideration as the excellent suspension.